Hello crafters, this is Gareth from G's Creations and welcome to Tuesday's video. As I showed you last Friday, I'm going to be making the shirt card. Now I'm going to be using this stamp set. Unfortunately I don't know the name of this stamp set, but you could use any of your Father's Day stamp sets that you have. And I'm going to be using some of this um, bits and pieces left over from the stripy paper. I did create a shirt sleeve and cuff card. I will link that in the corner up here. Um, I also done a masculine card series last week. I'll also link that. Um, so I'm going to be using these off cuts. And that's, these are from the um, Back to Basics 12 by 12 pack, which is available from my store once it reopens, which I am hoping and praying is going to be this week. Um, it's been two weeks now and I'm just pulling my hair out. So I've got my card base, which is just from my card stock that I've... Um, scored in the middle to make a card obviously do the cards appropriate to the sizes that you use now I've got these on my first card that I did that I created I done an inch and a half um, button portion but I want to utilize I want it to go the other way though that's the only thing I want it to go I want the stripes to go that way but I'm not sure I've got a piece of paper where I can do that because even this bit is too short. Oh no, I can. Right, okay. Good, good. I like the the part where the buttons go to be to go in a different direction. So this part is going to be an inch and a half. Make sure my paper is lined up. So it'll be an inch and a half. No, that's too long. It was an inch. Too wide, I mean. It was an inch. So I'm going to make this an inch. I won't throw that away. I can use that somewhere. And it's going to be um, six inches. Because it's 15 centimeters. So let me just double check that. Got to take off a tad more. Right. So that's that. That's for the buttons. Now I need a pocket, and this bit should work fine. But I also need to trim that down. Now I could give you measurements for this card, but it, it is. You know, it is completely dependent on how you want it to look, how big you want your pocket, how wide you want your, um, you know, your uh, your button trim. I'm going to use the back of this cardstock because I I like to have the white top to the uh, to the but to the to the um, what do you call it uh, pocket. God, I'm not with it today. So I'm just going to turn it over. Now I need a piece for the collar. Now what I'm going to do, again I'm going to utilize this. So I'm going to see how wide it is. And it is approximately three and three quarter inches. So again I'm going to do the same thing to make it square. And then put in both points in my cutting board. I'm going to then make my shirt collar. So that's that. I hope that all makes sense to you. I'm getting some buttons for. Right, let's have a look. What button should I use? I'm going to use some of the uh, the vintage multicolor buttons. I'm just going to take out some that go with that go with it. These are also stocked in the store. And they sell really well. All right, so one, two, three. I need four buttons, so I need another greenish one that looks like that. Let's have a look. Oops, not you. Come on, buttons. Right, so I found my buttons. Now, using some thread. Now, obviously, you don't have to um, sew your buttons on. You could simply put a, a glue dot on the back. 
or you could um, just put the thread through and give it the illusion that it's um, sewn on and then you could put a glue dot on the back or you could put a foam adhesive foam um, tab so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to give it the illusion that it's sewed on so just put some thread through to make it look like it's stitched on and then I am simply going to use a right, cut off this excess and then using some of the square adhesive foams which are available from the store I'm going to pop one on the back and then I can put it into place so I want this one at the top so I'm going to do the same with the other buttons and I'll be right back with you. Okay crafters I've got all, all those prepped and I've also put the double sided tape on the items that I needed to so as you can see the buttons are on and I put a, um, a line of double sided tape foam tape and I put some double sided tape now as it's going to go like that on the card oh, which is too big actually mm, I'm gonna to have to doctor that no problem we can you can sort that out right so it's at this point that I'm going to put place the um, where the pockets going to go and I'm going to use the stamp set you're the best dad and that's from this stamp set here if I can find out the name I, I should do my best I'm just going to stamp that just above the pocket line using the uh, VersaFine ink so I am going to glue this pocket down just using the art glitter glue I'm going to pop you down pop the uh, top of the pocket on now on the previous card I put some dash lines I'm not going to do the dash lines on this one I'm going to leave it so that's our button and then I need to doctor this because it's too it's too big so let me have a look, see if I can cut a smaller one. And don't stress, it's not a big, it's not a big deal. Oops. Sometimes it just takes a bit of a playing to get the shirt collar right. Okay, that's much better. So I need to put glue on this side. So I need glue needs to go on here, so I need some foam dots on here. So I'm just going to put a few of the foam dots. And take those off. Take the backers off. Bring the card back over. Some glue where it touches the um, the buttons, and then glue it to the um, the card base. And there we have it. That's how I did the um, the shirt card. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you again on Thursday with a uh, Mama Made It Design Team project. Take care now. Bye bye.